Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about disappointment. <laughs> A pretty good topic, huh? So disappointment. What is disappointment and what does it do for us? Huh. Okay. Disappointment is, um, before we even start something, disappointment is just like, okay, we are expecting a result. We don't get the result. We are sad. We are putting value on something that's happening outside of our control. And if it doesn't happen, then we're sad. Because even though it's not in our control, we're sad. I'm, I'm, I'm bashing myself right now. I'm not just bashing everybody out there. I'm, I'm not bashing just humanity. I'm bashing myself included. Because I do that like I every day uh, a lot. So, I, uh, I'm, yeah. So what, what disappoints us? There's this phrase in Hindi. It's like you take an axe and you hit your foot with it. <laughs> um, that's sabotage, self-sabotage or whatever. That's what disappointment is. It's like you're taking an axe, you're hitting your foot with it. Your foot is bleeding. You drag, you want to walk, you want to run, but your foot is bleeding. So you're dragging your foot behind you. You're walking slow because you've dragged it, because you're disappointed, because you're judging yourself. You're dragging your foot slowly and you're feeling further disappointed that you're not able to go fast. But of course you can't go fast because you're bleeding. Your foot is bleeding. So this is what you're, you're doing to your heart. Your heart is bleeding every time you're disappointed. And with a bleeding heart, you want to do this like really excited, good thing. You want to like, you know, achieve a million things in your life. But your heart is bleeding. You're not, you're not feeling good you're not feeling great you're not you're not on a clear path towards your goal because you're keeping on hitting the foot with the axe and then you're trying to say why can't I run why can't I run you can't run because you're bleeding because you keep hitting your foot with the axe by judging yourself by being disappointed in yourself so stop judging yourself and stop dis being disappointed in yourself I know it's like a catch-22 kind of thing but that's what it is I mean you have got to break the cycle at some point you've got to break the cycle somehow how do you do that ah, now that's a difficult question how do you stop judging yourself and others, this is the same with others, is one thing. I have said this probably a million times. I love this, but it's very true. You understand, you discern versus judge. You disentangle the two because we are so wired to entangle. The two. So you disentangle. You understand, this is what I want from life and where I am, what I'm doing is not getting me there. There. Now you accept yourself, the present, uh, be in the present moment. What that means is you just accept this is where I am. This is where I've been. I'm not judging myself for here. It's taken me lifetimes over lifetimes over lifetimes of all kinds of coverings, 30 miles of coverings in front of our heart. Um, that's what they say, that uh, your your heart is a pure soul and you have 30 miles of dust in front of the thing. So you have to hack away at it. So you've got so much covering in front of your heart that you have to work through. So why are we so hell bent on like getting it right now i mean when we want to get a job we spend whatever 22 22 ish years of our lives studying going to school going to college and then we get a job if we can spend 22 years of our lives for a job why are we expecting that suddenly all of these things that have been and these abandonment wounds and traumas and everything that we've brought from our past lives why are we expecting that it'll just overnight disappear of course not it's okay it's okay to be hung up on people it's okay to be um to um to not be able to succeed in that weight loss goal or succeed in that business goal or succeed in that job goal or whatever goals that we have it's okay to not succeed in them even for years or decades it's okay and that's not okay so that's where so you don't judge yourself for it which means you don't hit yourself with an axe and bleed but you do discern you understand this is where i am so then what do you do i what i do is prayer it, it's up to you what you do but for me that is the only recourse and it works i mean it works sometimes after years that's okay but it works prayer is what i do prayer and this understanding that i am okay I'm truly okay. I am truly, truly okay. I am I'm here after lifetimes and billions of lifetimes of issues. I'm, I'm still here and I'm growing and I'm growing so fast in this lifetime. And I'm, I'm good with where I am. So, yes. So, um, have, and I think I'm at that place. Like, I, I don't really care so much. I used to, even until August, I think, even until then, I used to be like, um, 
the, the there's just uh, why have I not done this or why am I you know but I now I'm like I don't care <laughs> I, I I'm okay I'm I'm just I'm okay uh, people discovered the path to God at like you know they were born into it they discovered at year one or year twenty or year whatever and uh, I'm like why didn't I discover I mean I used to why didn't I discover it earlier but I'm okay because I was such an, a hardcore atheist, but I'm here now. The proof is in the pudding. I'm here, you know, and it is because God pulled me here. So basically, just accept yourself wherever you are. Yes, I'm here. I, I, I seem to have gotten, I seem to be late in the game because I'm older than other people who are there, who, who are much younger. No, absolutely not. I am here and it is such a blessing and such a gift to be here. I am here, where, wherever I am, it's such a blessing and such a gift to have all of the things that I have, because I'm not going to know things before I know them. And I can, if I beat myself for, up for not knowing things before I know them and before I've learned the lesson, that's like ridiculous, right? So, okay. So yes, disappointment is, uh, uh, the, the way to get over disappointment for me is prayer and say um, self-acceptance and just intellectually understand that I'm okay, intellectually understand that um, the, this is a discernment. And then the, and if you're trying to start something new and then you're feeling a little bit discouraged because you're like, what if it doesn't work because I've been disappointed so many times before, then try to find a way, discernment again, pull the judgment out of it, pull the emotion out of it as, much, as best as you can. And then write down, what can I do to make this process more exciting for me? Whatever it is, ask yourself this question. So for me, yesterday I was trying to do something and it did work. I was like, I need to, to for this to work for me, I need to just pivot from what, what this video was telling me to do. I need to pivot a little bit. And this, if I pivot a little bit and just tweak this and tweak that, then it'll become more exciting for me. It'll be, I'll have more energy around it. So then I will lose the attachment to the results because I'll not just be doing for it for material things I'll be doing it because I believe in it and because I'm helping I'm making a difference in the world so um, that way I will feel better about myself and I'll not beat myself up even if I don't achieve it because even if I'm not achieving the material results I'm expecting I will at least I, I will achieve helping people you know so that whatever works for you whatever it is you need you use that to get out of it Okay, um, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Wish you a day filled with lots and lots and lots of growth. Rati, rati.